What's up everybody, it's your boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. Today I've got for you a total upper body home workout and all you're gonna need is a pair of dumbbells. For reference, I'll be using a pair of 30 pound dumbbells. You might wanna try somewhere between 15, maybe all the way up to about 25s. You wanna push yourself, you wanna try and do 30s with me, then go right ahead. We're gonna be going through these seven total exercises to totally demolition our upper body. Let's get this thing. Okay, first exercise, we actually won't need the dumbbells right away. We're gonna be doing some explosive clap push-ups. So we're gonna get into regular push-up stance. What we're doing here is you're either gonna, you're gonna come down all the way, bring your chest to the ground, and you're either gonna explosively come up and clap, or you're gonna just come up as explosively as you can, try and get those hands off the ground. And if you can't do those, then you can also perform this from the knees. We've got 12 repetitions. Ready, and go. Get that chest as low as you can. Get 12 repetitions. Six more. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. And good. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna be hitting the upper back here. We've got some single arm rows. So, one arm at a time. I like to get a nice staggered stance. Just so that my foot's out of the way, the arm when I'm doing my row here. Bending over at about a 45, and you bring your arm down so it's completely straight, bringing it up, and you're squeezing the shoulder blades. And this is gonna target the upper back. We've got here eight repetitions on each arm. Ready, and go. Bring that up, and squeeze them with that rotator, or sorry, the uh, shoulder blade there. Bringing this towards the hip. Hold it there for just half of a second. Good, three more. Two, squeezing the hell out of that last one. And good. Now we're gonna switch again with a staggering of the feet, bringing it up towards the hip. Good, and you're really gonna be able to target both the upper back as well as the rear delt there, the back of the shoulder. Four more repetitions. Three, two, one more. And good. Okay, maintaining this with just one dumbbell. We're gonna be doing some clean and presses. Single arm, baby. Let's put your hand on your hip. This is just gonna help with your balance. You're gonna position the dumbbell in front of you. You're gonna thrust it upwards, snatch it right there, and then press upwards. So again, if you're gonna do this explosively, bring it up, snatch, press, and we're good to go. We got eight repetitions on each arm. Ready, and go. One, two, nice and explosively. Three, make sure to get that snatch right there. Four, five, three more, two. Making sure we're breathing at all times. Last one in this arm, then we're gonna switch. Good, and I'm positioning that hand on the hip just to help me with my balance so my arm isn't just randomly hanging out there. Eight repetitions. Good. Breathing in as it comes up, breathing out as it comes back. Or sorry, as you thrust it up. Good. Five more. Four. This would be great for hitting that shoulder. Three. And to your head specifically, or the front head. Good. Last one. And perfect. Okay. Now we got the single arm, or sorry, we got the overhead dumbbell extensions. You can either do it with just one dumbbell or you can use both. I'm gonna demonstrate it with one, and I'm gonna perform it with both. So what you wanna do is you wanna have a rock grip, sort of like the Jay-Z logo there for the rock. You're gonna grab your dumbbell, bring it above the head, and what we're doing here, I'll let you see from the side, is we're bringing it down nice and low, and then extending by using our triceps. Focusing on keeping those elbows nice and close to the head. We don't want them to flare out there. So as I said, I'm gonna be using two dumbbells, I'm just gonna be holding them as such and connecting them. We've got 10 repetitions here. Ready, and go. Coming down nice and low, and then extending with those triceps there. Three, keeping those elbows nice and close to the head. Five more. Four, making sure to always breathe. Three, two, last one. And good work. Whew. Now we're gonna get 
again too. Some of the biceps, we've got 12 repetitions here. So we're gonna be doing hammer grip. You're bringing your thumb to the shoulder. And what we're doing here is squeezing the hell out of the biceps. We're gonna be doing both arms simultaneously. So you got 10 repetitions. Ready and go. Making sure to get those arms straight at the bottom and you're not swinging the weight. We wanna be using strictly our biceps to get this up. Good, four, five more. Good, four, just past halfway. Three, squeezing those biceps, coming down nice and slowly. Last one, and good. Put the dumbbells down, just shake up the hands a little bit. Forearms get a bit tired. Best, we got shrugs. These are great for the traps. So we got 20 repetitions, grabbing both dumbbells here. And what we're doing is bringing those shoulders up to the ear and down. Up to the ear and down. We got 20 repetitions. Ready and go. You're not just letting those shoulders fall to the ground after the repetition. Coming down nice and slow. The traps are slowly releasing to bring those shoulders back down. You had eight. Nine, always breathing. 10, halfway. Nine more. Eight. Seven. Six. Bringing those up nice and high there. Five more. Four. Three more. Two. Good. Last one and perfect. Just give you a second to shake out those palms there. Shake out the wrists. I got some tension up in there. And we got the final exercise. We got dumbbell overhead presses. So what we're gonna be doing here is with the dumbbells, keeping them out nice and nice and shoulder width apart, bringing them upwards. I don't want them touching at the top. I want there to be about a distance of four to six inches in between the dumbbells. Because when you bring it together at the top, it's really gonna bring in a lot of triceps. When we keep it apart, we're gonna really target the shoulders, which is the goal of this exercise. This is 10 repetitions. This is the last exercise of the circuit. Ready, and go. Good, breathing out as you come up. Three, you're gonna feel those shoulders for sure by this point. Four, five, four more. Three, bringing those dumbbells down nice and slowly each time they're coming down. One more, and good. Woo. So there you guys go. That's your total upper body dumbbell home workout. Good job finishing the first round. You want to push it, try performing this one two total times. If you think you're really crazy, how about you try it for three rounds? I hope you guys enjoyed the workout, and if you did, be sure to give it a like, and also be sure to subscribe, and be sure to also let me know how far you were able to get in this workout. Were you able to get to one round? Were you able to get to two? Were you crazy enough to say that maybe you got three? Other than that, guys, thanks so much for joining me in the workout. I'll see you in the next video.